what's up you guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be making my spicy chicken alfredo pasta yum sounds good doesn't it hell yes <laughs> it's actually my second time making it and i made it different than i did the first time and let me tell you i put my foot all up in this pasta okay you guys all right, so for starters, I've already had my pasta cooking and some water and some oil so the noodles won't get stuck to each other. And my chicken, I've already prepped and cut up. I only seasoned it with black pepper and the 21 Salute seasoning from uh, Trader Joe's. Okay, and then in my pot, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat it with some oil and I'm gonna add my chicken. And I'm gonna leave it there for about like three minutes or so so it can get nice and you know crispy and have a good crust on the outside and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and for this dish you guys you can also make it with shrimp or make it without if you just want to do like a meatless type of pasta that would work out perfectly fine so as my chicken is finishing up I'm gonna go ahead and grate some Parmesan cheese and to that same pan you guys I'm gonna use the same exact pan that I cooked my chicken in because all those bits and pieces of chicken that are left are what gonna flavor my sauce and let me tell you this is a game changer I freaking love the way this sauce came out it's so so good and right here I added four uh, garlic cloves, very finely chopped up. If you can only smell this, you guys, it smells amazing. I love garlic. <laughs> and of course, some spice. I put some chili flakes in there. You can put the, you can leave it without. You guys already know me. I love spicy food, so you gotta have a little kick in there. Okay, and then I'm adding my cream cheese, and I added a whole. A bar of 8 ounce cream cheese and some heavy whipping cream which was about like 10 ounces look at that sauce you guys it's looking so so good and I did end up adding just a little bit of the chicken bouillon or the consomme as we like to call it in Spanish <laughs> I just added a little sprinkle to it because I had a little taste and it did lack some salt. Put some of that so you can give it some flavor. Okay, so once your sauce is thickened up, you can go ahead and add your cheese. And so once your sauce is ready, you guys can just pretty much go ahead and toss everything together. Look how yummy that's looking, you guys. And boom, that's the finished product. I ended up serving it with just a little slice of garlic bread that I bought at the market. And there you have it. Hope you guys love this recipe. See you next time.